Millions of consumers have taken a direct-to-consumer, abbreviated DTC, genetic test to learn about personal health risks. Many share results with a healthcare provider since they may contain helpful information regarding a patient's health. The patient's personal and family history, ethnicity, and reasons for testing should be considered when reviewing results. Keep in mind that genetic counselors and clinical geneticists are available to help with DTC tests and other genetics questions. Always check if the results are from the same company where the patient sent their sample and not from a third-party interpretive service. The uninterpreted genetic data used by these third-party services has not been validated, so results may be inaccurate or misinterpreted. If results are from the genetic testing company itself, then check if the company has undergone FDA review of their health tests. This information can be found on the FDA's website. Companies whose DTC tests include genetic health risks, cancer predisposition, carrier status, or pharmacogenetic information must have FDA authorization or clearance in order to market these tests directly to consumers. This ensures results are accurate, the clinical interpretation is well understood, and the company has demonstrated that consumers understand their results. Tests for disease-associated variants will report that either a specific variant or set of variants was detected or was not detected. The company should provide the consumer with an interpretation of each result and relevant information about each condition. Let's review hypothetical examples of DTC genetic test results shared with a healthcare provider and confirmed in a clinical setting. One DTC test includes testing for a subset of variants associated with familial hypercholesterolemia. The results detect a variant, R3527Q, in the APOB gene. The result interpretation in the report is an increased risk of having very high LDL cholesterol. In this case, according to clinical guidelines, the result is clinically significant and the patient needs follow-up care. Other family members should consider testing since familial hypercholesterolemia is usually an autosomal dominant condition. Next, a DTC test includes common variants associated with hereditary thrombophilia, a hereditary blood clotting disorder. The results detect a variant, factor V Leiden, in the F5 gene. The result interpretation is a slightly increased risk of developing a VTE, or venous thromboembolism. For hereditary thrombophilias, age, pregnancy, obesity, and other factors also contribute to the risk. Management will depend on a patient's clinical and family history. In another example, a DTC test includes a common genetic variant associated with late-onset Alzheimer's disease. The results show two copies of this variant, E4, in the APOE gene. The result interpretation is an increased risk of developing late-onset Alzheimer's disease. Despite a lack of prevention or cure, some seek this information to help with life planning and other decisions. Results like this, with limited clinical utility, can still have a high personal value or personal utility. In contrast to these examples, most results from a DTC test will be negative, or variant not detected, for most conditions for most people. Here, it's important to understand the test's sensitivity or variant coverage. There can be thousands of known variants associated with a disease, and genetic tests don't necessarily test for them all. So, someone whose DTC test did not detect a variant could still have a variant for the same condition not covered by the test. A patient's ethnicity should be considered, since a test's coverage will be different for different ethnic groups, and in some cases, results may only be relevant for a specific group. Also, the family health history should be reviewed, since those with a suspected monogenic disease may need comprehensive testing with greater coverage. Take this 38-year-old patient. Her DTC test looked for three variants in BRCA1 and BRCA2, two genes associated with hereditary breast and ovarian cancer. These variants are most common among people with Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry. None of these three variants were detected in the patient's DNA. A review of her family history shows several members with breast cancer, including her 42-year-old sister. The patient's family history is suggestive of an inherited breast cancer variant despite the negative DTC test result. 
The family could have a variant not covered by the test, especially since they are not known to have Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry. Based on clinical guidelines, this patient should be offered a clinical genetic test for breast cancer. In cases like this, the value of DTC tests may be simply in raising awareness about patients' health concerns and family history. This case also points out the importance of emphasizing the meaning of a negative DTC or any genetic test result so patients are not falsely reassured. In addition to identifying or not identifying specific genetic variants associated with genetic health risks, as shown in these four examples, DTC tests can also include polygenic score reports and pharmacogenetics information. Some DTC tests analyze hundreds to thousands of variants using statistical models that provide polygenic scores and risk estimates for complex diseases such as type 2 diabetes and coronary artery disease. Results can be presented in different ways, such as relative risk, lifetime risk, percentile rank, or a combination of these. The test interpretation should indicate if the patient's risk is increased or not. Since environment and lifestyle factors also contribute, an increased genetic likelihood is only part of the picture and should be considered within the context of a patient's overall clinical and family history. Knowledge of this information may provide motivation for healthy lifestyle choices and in some cases earlier screening or closer monitoring. DTC tests can also include information on variants that influence drug processing, often called pharmacogenetics reports. Here, a test found a variant, STAR2, in each copy of the CYP2C19 gene. The report interpretation is that the consumer is likely a CYP2C19 poor metabolizer. One clinical implication of this result is that poor metabolizers cannot activate the antiplatelet drug clopidogrel, so other platelet inhibitors may be better options for these patients. DTC tests typically offer information about genetic ancestry or ethnicity. New insights about a patient's ethnicity may be relevant for their health history and clinical care. Similarly, DTC tests can lead to more, and sometimes new, information about biological relatives, so regularly ask patients what new family health information they learned from their DTC testing experience. Finally, consider asking patients if they have already taken a DTC genetic test. Discussions about their reasons for testing offer opportunities to leverage patient engagement and motivation to discuss prevention and other health and wellness goals. Incorporating insights about a patient's genome into these discussions is one example of the promise of precision medicine.